Good morning, YouTube. Um, just catching you guys up on a project that I've been working on. I'm using my iPad, so forgive the shakiness, but I don't have an advanced camera just yet. But anyway, the project that I'm working on here has been my uh, mobile power unit. Basically, I'm uh, going to paint this thing and get it erected the right way. So far, this is phase one. I got the bottom panels. They're secured real nicely. It's actually pretty windy. It's a pretty strong overcast today. <clears throat> Every couple of uh, minutes, you got a big wind gust. So it makes me think I want to put a uh, wind turbine on this as well. But just so you can see it, uh, currently I have these three 85-watt panels hooked up to a battery bank inside. Uh, the panels that are on top are actually going through those wires into the house. And those are connected to my 48-volt um, bank. And the two in the back, they're grid-tied. Um, and I have a couple more panels coming in. Um, I'm actually going to sell a few of these 85 watts just to kind of keep them all in the same set. Um, at the top, you can see where I'm going to have my next hinge. I'm going to have my top unit to where I have a tilt for basically a big, big um, array of panels. So I'm going to show you the inside of this thing. Here, hold on one second. By the way, I had that uh, the 385 watt panels running this freezer using this inverter in here, and I can't remember if I left it off or not. But when I came in this morning, the inverter was beeping, saying my voltage was too low. And yeah, there's my uh, Outback Mate. I have a Mate 3 coming in, so I'll have it temporarily just here. Um, and that's my uh, Flex Max 60. I have a battery bank down there. They're all wired up in 12 volt. But anyway, I was playing around with this thing yesterday. Had a little fun. Um, <clears throat> got it boxed up a little bit. This is all going to be used as storage. The battery bank is going to go all the way down to the end. I'm probably going to frame this out. Put like a, my breaker box and things like that. I'm going to modify it a little bit more. Anyway, it's just set up the way it is right now. As you can see on top, basically I took the ladder, ladder uh, supports and turned that into a mounting system. It took a while to work that up, but it works. Works pretty well. This is a one-man thing. You could actually lift it, lower it so it's in driving mode or if it's in uh, lift mode. It's kind of neat. One of my tires on this I blew out actually when I bought the trailer so I'm replacing that but for right now it's just in test mode anyway and just before I close this video I'm going to give you one more shot of the uh, trailer with the panels in the uh, deployed mode and uh, um, probably this weekend you'll see the rest of them floating above it um, so we'll be able to give out at minimum a thousand watts per hour. Uh, one last thing, I also put a screw in here to kind of help myself gauge where the sun is. Obviously the sun's not out right now, but you can see the etch marks I put in here. Uh, you got one here and one here. Basically, the shadow cast should stay in between these two if your sun is directly overhead. It doesn't really do much for the top, but it does left to right so that you can tell you know, whether or not you need to lift the uh, the wheel and drag it around which you can see the marks in the grass that's how I basically kept the panels always facing the sun so anyway video has been long if you have qu uh, questions comments please uh, comment below like subscribe do whatever thank you